My name is Jason Maxwell and I'm 12 years old. When I grow up, I want to be a basketball player or a football player because those are my two favorite and my, one of my main, two of my main sports I always play. My son was, has probably the most perfect birthday. He was born um, November 11th, 2011, 11-11-11. Uh, he is the smartest, most athletic child I know. <laughs> and he's just my little perfect angel. This all started when my son had a knee injury. He had a knee injury and he was out for six, six to eight weeks. And that gave us the opportunity to go and, you know, do a checklist of all the things that he needed to do. Um, and then, you know, from DeMar Hamlin to the other kid passing away, it was just perfect timing for us to just like, okay, let's just, you know, let's go to the cardiologist and get screened. I went to take him to go to our urgent care and it was simple, it was easy. It was just, you know, make an appointment, walk in, get an EKG. Um, they sent it off to the pediatrician and his pediatrician did call me and was like, hey, I don't, it's nothing alarming, nothing, I don't think it's anything big. I really think because he's an athlete, you know, it's one of those things that kids get like an athlete's heart or something like that. It didn't worry me, you know, but I still, you know, she sent me to a cardiologist to double check. Yeah, when we went to the cardiologist, uh, Jason and I walked in and we sat down, I sat down first, the doctor sat where you sit in right now, Jason to my right. And he's pretty much breaking down everything that's going on and I underst I'm understanding exactly what's going on as well. And I looked to my right, Jason, he's playing the game on his phone, but he's, I can see his eyes, not really focused on the game, but he's listening. So the doctor's going further into it, he said, yeah, there's something that, that's, that maybe needs to be done and something that could be life threatening or fatal if you want to continue playing sports. If not, you, can, you can't play sports no more as a normal kid and that's not him. That's not my son to sit still. And so after, after the conversation took about maybe 15 minutes, me and Doc wanted to say, I understood what's going on, I understood. I understood what he was saying. I understood with Damar and Jason, I understood what's going on. And when the doctor said what he said, we pretty much shook his hand and got up and I turned around. I turned around and Jason just bawling. All I said is I don't want to die. Jason was diagnosed with anomalous right coronary artery. The surgery itself lasted for a few hours, like probably three, four hours. Too long? Yeah, <laughs> too long. <laughs> um, it lasted for a very long time, um, for about a few hours. And so once he was completed, the doctor came in and spoke with us and he was like, he's perfectly fine. Um, we also found that he had another condition, a myocardial bridge, but we went ahead and corrected that. And he's perfectly fine. You can go see him, but he's, he's all fixed up. That's a bucket. Mm. Oh, well, since he had the heart surgery, he is 100% healed. He's, he's, he's back to him, himself. Honestly, five days later from the surgery, he was himself. But he's, he's all clear, goes to sports, and anything he wants to do, live his normal life. I didn't even know when I was a child doing jump rope for heart that when I was doing that, that I would be helping and benefiting my own child. This is what I want people to know. You have to be an advocate for yourself. People can only see on the outside of what's going on, but no one knows what's going on in your inside. If you feel any one thing is off, wrong, abnormal, go and get it checked. Bucket. Hey, Yay. one for 30. <laughs>